Chapter 20, The Holy Trinity. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mother, the Daughter, and the Divine Life. The 24 elders are called the fathers and mothers of the nation. Each elder is called father by his tribe and his wife. The queen is called mother. The 144 chiefs are called the sons and daughters of the elders. Each chief is called the son by his clan and the co-chief, his wife, is called the daughter. The 144,000 judges are called the Holy Spirit or divine life by the residents of their town. These three groups of our leaders, the elders, chiefs, and judges, are called the highest holy trinity. Their designation as the highest holy trinity comes from the following teaching. We are taught that the true name of reality, or all of existence, is the holy trinity. At the beginning of creation that has no beginning, God created reality in the form of a triangle, or three-sided form, or trinity. To this day, all reality is created in exactly the same way every time. First, God divided into two and then into three. And when he and she became three, then reality or all of existence in the universe came into being. Since that moment, every event in reality, every action in life, every moment in the universe, every facet of life whatsoever is in the form of the holy triangle. We are taught that when a young girl sweeps the floor of her house, that event is in the form of the divine trinity. When a boy plays a drum or a woman dances to music, all those movements are in the form of the holy trinity or triangle of reality. In the case of the young girls, she is called the mother of her divine trinity. The clean floor that results from her sweeping is called the daughter of her divine trinity and the act of sweeping is called her Holy Spirit. The boy playing the drum is called the father of his actions. The music he brings into existence is called his son, and the act of playing the drum is called his Holy Spirit. The dancing woman is also the mother of her actions. The dance resulting from her actions is her daughter, and the action of her swaying hips is called her Holy Spirit. To our ancestors, every action is holy and is called the Holy Spirit. When you type a message on the computer, that typing action is your Holy Spirit. The message you create is your son or daughter, and you are the father or mother of your Holy Trinity, or triangle of reality. Every result of every action is called the son or daughter of its creator, and the individual creating it, its father or mother. This is called the divine trinity by means of which reality comes into existence. All reality exists by the manifestation of the divine trinity in every universal event, however serious or mundane. Reality manifests on the highest level as God, the father and mother, the universe, the son and daughter, and life, the Holy Spirit. So God, the universe, and life are the highest manifestation of the holy trinity or triangle of existence. The Holy Trinity is personified on the highest level in the persons of the 24 elders as the fathers and mothers, the custodians of unity, the 144 chiefs as the sons and daughters, or custodians of universal energy, and the 144,000 judges as the Holy Spirit or custodians of divine life. Our leaders are called the highest Holy Trinity. In addition, the elders are called the custodians of divine unity. Divine means perfect, complete, whole, or holy. Divine unity is another name for the oneness of God. The 24 elders are also called the home of eternity. When the singers compose their songs, they call them by many other names. The poets use even more names as they feel inspired to sing their praises. But all of the names of the elders, the most popular and most beloved, is simply mother and father. In the eternal language of the Black nation, mother is Ma and father is Ra. Ra and Ma are simply Rama. That is the eternal name of God. And it is by the will of God that reality manifests on earth in the form of the divine triangle. That is the origin of the expression, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, 
also called by her people, the mother, the daughter, and divine life. 